Using Hardware Description Languages in Tina Cloud, Part 2 Creating Macros from Verilog Hardware description languages are powerful tools to describe and simulate complex electronic devices. In this tutorial video, we will show you how you can create a macro from a Verilog.v code and use in Tina Cloud. You can create macros from VHDL, Verilog A, and Verilog AMS files in a similar way. You can create a macro from any .vhd, .v, .va, .vams file that contains an entity, interface to the outside world, with its architecture, description of the hardware. The meaning of the file extensions is as follows. Files with the .vhd extension are VHDL files. Files with the .v extension are Verilog files. Files with the .va extension are Verilog A files, and the files with the .vams extension are Verilog AMS files. The ports declared in the interface part will automatically appear in the macro symbol, shape. By default, the input ports of the interface will appear on the left side of the generated macro shape, and the output ports of the interface will appear on the right side, but by editing the generated macro, you can change this arrangement. For example, consider now the following Verilog interface. In this case, the AB ports will appear on the left side and the SC ports will appear on the right side of the macro shape. Let's see how to make a macro from the following Verilog code, a half adder in Tina Cloud. Note, the Verilog code is much simpler than the equivalent VHDL code. This is one of the great advantages of Verilog. The essential Verilog code of the half adder is two lines long only. Let's demonstrate the details. Click the Insert button with the green plus sign to invoke the Insert menu. Select Upload Macro. Let's name the macro as Half Adder Verilog. Switch into From File from Current Circuit. We assume that you already have an offline version of Tina on your computer, and we will select a file which we will turn into a Verilog macro from the original folder of the offline Tina, but you can select a Verilog file anywhere on your computer. Click Browse. From the Tina Examples folder, select the Verilog folder, then open the half adder verilog.v file. Click Upload. The Edit Macro Pins window appears. Edit the macro input and output pin names as shown on the screen. Note that by moving the pin names to the top or to the bottom fields of the editor, you can create pins at the top or at the bottom of the macro box. Of course, you can also change the names, for example, A to INP A, B to INP B, and so on. Here is the macro with this pin orientation and naming. Now let's return to our original pin orientation and click OK. The following note appears. Macro uploaded. Click OK. To insert the uploaded macro, click the Insert button and then select Insert Macro. From the User Macros window, select Half Adder Verilog. Then click OK. The macro will be attached to your cursor and you can place it anywhere on the workspace. To check its content, double click the macro. Then press the three dots details button in the HDL code line. The Verilog code of the macro appears. Press OK to close the property window with the Verilog code. Press OK again to close the properties dialog. Let's test our newly created macro in Tina Cloud's digital interactive mode along with the previously created VHDL macro and compare the results with the truth table of the half adder. Select File to open our previously created half adder test circuit.tsc. Here is the circuit with two high load digital switches, 
one for each of the AB inputs, and two logic indicators. We will copy the circuit, then we will change the macro into the half adder Verilog macro. Click the zoom out icon to make more space. Pan the circuit by holding down the left mouse button while moving the mouse. Now click the multiple selection icon on the toolbar, then use window selection. Click the copy then the paste button on the toolbar. The circuit will be attached to your cursor. Position it by moving the mouse and holding down the left mouse button. Deselect the circuit by clicking an empty spot. Click the half adder VHDL macro to be selected, then delete it. Click the insert button denoted by a green plus sign, then select insert macro. Select the half adder Verilog macro, then click OK. The Verilog macro will be attached to your cursor, and you can move and insert it into the place of the deleted VHDL macro. Save the circuit under the name Half Adder Test Circuit 2. Now press the Dig button. Click the switches to change the input states. The logic levels of the node appear, red for high, blue for low. The logic indicators will also show the logic level of the outputs in a red square for high and empty square for low. And the half adder circuit works as required. For more information, visit our website at tinacloud.com. Visit our YouTube channel to youtube.com slash user slash tinadesignsuite.